assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel uh, this is our next video in which we will learn how to dock our prepared protein with our synthesized compound so first of all you have to open your protein that you have already prepared so my protein is uh, uh, in this folder okay this one uh, i open this now uh, in next step simple you have to go to compute dog and here uh, you change this to mdb file and uh, open the databases that uh, you have already uh, prepared for in which uh, your synthesized compounds are shown this is uh, my databases and for example uh, these are the two compounds uh, that i have synthesized and i want to dock uh, it with uh, ligand next step i change this to 10 and 5 and simple output file i give it name like uh, poses and run it will take uh, uh, some time and then uh, diff, uh, five five poses of each compound will be shown here it will take sometimes uh, five minutes ten minutes and uh, sometimes much time will be, it will be taken so we wait for this and uh, when all the entries in will be shown it means that uh, our uh, ligand is docked so uh, we wait it as you see this uh, the synthesized compound try to show uh, binding with the ligand attached with the protein so it will take time uh, we will wait for it as we have a uh, two compound synthesizer then uh, here two entries are shown uh, from which uh, one of uh, uh, this is uh, done and their poses are here compound one poses are uh, shown here and compound two poses will be shown after a few minutes in this uh, this is the S core S core uh, will indicate uh, the binding energy uh, lesser the binding energy more will be the uh, compound will bind to protein uh, in these uh, poses of compound one this is best binding energy that uh, the compound will show and uh, this is the rmsd value uh, this is also also shown here this must be less than one two uh, that is better value okay uh, second compound will take um, some time uh, when uh, the these poses are uh, all uh, are shown here all the synthesized compounds are docked with the ligand then you have to save each pose in different format that i will show when it will be done okay our docking is complete uh, second compound five poses are uh, shown here uh, compound number two show um, minus 7.7 7 good binding energy and this will show minus 6 to 1 now we will save each of its pose like this go to file then browse and now you, uh, from here you uh, change this to s and you change this to rmst okay now save each pose go to file save for example i save my poses in uh, download i give it name uh, as uh, it is my compound one post so i give this name as one and i save this as a try pause mold to file because i have uh, uh, to use this file further in discovery studio now save now i'm uh, move to our next post this is second pose of compound one simple control s 
I save this in same folder and as a, this is second post so I give it name 1-2 second post and convert this in, in try post file and ok next uh, is my third post of compound so control F download I give this name 1-3 Okay, and this is saved. In this way, uh, we will save all of uh, these poses, ten poses that will be further use these in uh, our Discovery Studio. Okay. Next. Okay, I uh, saved uh, all of uh, uh, five poses of uh, compound one that uh, will uh, use it further. Uh, in MOE, we can also see our uh, uh, synthesized compound interaction with the uh, uh, protein. So for this purpose, uh, uh, for this uh, uh, you will simple go to compute and then ligand interaction. This will uh, will give a 2D interaction of your synthesized compound with the uh, uh, residues present in uh, protein that you have downloaded from PDB. I maximize this. Okay, uh, basically this is uh, the ligand that is already attached in. Uh, um, protein that we have taken from online source in this uh, you can do changes uh, like this uh, 2d con you can change 2d contact style uh, you can uh, change 2d re uh, residue colors uh, like uh, you can change the color of solvent uh, non bonding interaction and uh, or any in other interaction here you can also change the diagram annotations like you can remove proximity control but there is no need to remove this you have to uh, remove this uh, ligand solvent exposure and uh, receptor solvent exposure also we remove uh, all these and apply then uh, here uh, like this uh, this uh, interaction that was shown was uh, of a solvent that is removed now uh, you can also set these cutoff values and uh, in rendering uh, you can also change the size of a residue like I can change for example to 1.9 <coughs> this is chain uh, but um, actually we uh, do this 1.2 and apply okay uh, in this way we can uh, do changes and uh, in next uh, we will uh, uh, change this to okay uh, next uh, you simply just uh, uh, move to our next and uh, here you will see that um, this is your comp synthesized compound that will interact with uh, the amino acid residues that is uh, present in your uh, uh, protein uh, in this way uh, you uh, can uh, save this uh, export and give it file name like uh, c1 compound1 and uh, save it in downloads c1 ok then I export this and this will be saved and uh, you can further use this uh, this is the 2d interaction of um, uh, synthesized compound with amino acid residues present in a protein in this way next uh, uh, second compound okay this was second and uh, in this way you can uh, uh, see the 2d interaction of all of your synthesized compound and uh, save this 2d interaction and further uh, do analysis on this um, and uh, uh, this was all about uh, the docking in MOE in, in next video we will learn how to dock our compounds in discovery studio uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, for more updates, please subscribe my channel.